Americans could vote. I never imagined a world where I would be represented by someone who looks like me. Tonight, New Mexico, you are sending one of the very first Native American women to For someone like my mom to be a product of centuries of oppression and then be able to get to this place where she can be a voice for those communities is amazing. You can pass me our spirit dish Thank you. for all the Pueblo women, the table. <laughs> and it's astounding that it's taken this long. I'm the person that my grandparents dreamed of. I'm why they worked hard to preserve our culture and our traditions and we all have a responsibility, right? Because it was hard back then just to survive. Both my grandparents were taken from their families and sent to Indian boarding school. When my grandmother went to boarding school in Santa Fe, they kept her away from her family for five years. She went on the train when she was eight years old and she returned when she was 13. My grandpa said he would go weeks without a hug and he would be disciplined for speaking his language. He would be disciplined for questioning any type of directions or authority. The entire intention was to assimilate Indians. To get Indians off their reservations, nations, pueblos, so they could essentially take their land or to take away their status as federally recognized Indian tribes. They tried to extinguish a population of people, take away our rights, take away our land, remove the heart of our culture. We were so overtaken so quickly and so much was stripped away from us. The rhetoric for so long was, you know, save the man, kill the Indian. I know it's not easy and it's tough but I'm just so grateful that you're out there. Thank you. Native Americans are kind of talked about in the past tense. We were these people that existed a long time ago and we like don't exist anymore. Kids grow up hearing this rhetoric and feeling like their identity like isn't valid. If you grow up never seeing yourself in any body of any governmental entity, it's hard for you to imagine yourself in those roles. Having a, someone like Deb in office in Congress speaks volumes about where the country is moving, but also it's a reaction. As a mother, I want my daughter to grow up knowing she can achieve whatever she wants without barriers. It's a very powerful election that I can vote for a Native woman, that I can vote for a Pueblo woman. You know, if we start recognizing that Indian tribes should be a part of every conversation that our country has, we can create a future for everybody. March on, celebrating women who changed the world.